If we want to fix the climate and biodiversity crisis, we need to rewild our landscapes and bring back nature. Now we know that farming is one of the big things that competes with land use for this, but what about energy? Well, in fact, this is one of the things that people just aren't talking about enough. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how much land each energy source would use if we were going to power the entire UK of just that energy source. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's start by looking at solar power, solar PV in a field. Well, it uses a surprising amount of land. So firstly, this is the size of London on our map. So let's lay it on roughly where London is. And how many of them would you need? Well, if you were to power the entire UK in the year 2050's entire electricity demand, you would need 10 times the size of London in solar power. That's Greater London, to be precise. So let's put them on the map. OK, yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a bit of space. Now, obviously, with solar, it's important to say we, we can potentially use the land for other things. It's possible we can grow crops underneath it. And if we did manage to put most of this on top of roofs, well, there isn't space for all of that because that's 7% of the UK and the total urban area of the UK is less than that. But we could put some of this on roofs and that could reduce the space. Still, it is a lot of land. Okay, well, that's solar. How about wind power instead? Let's clean the map. Okay, now, wind power putting wind turbines can either happen onshore or it can happen in the ocean, offshore. And it's true, the United Kingdom has a lot of it, but not every country does. Now, if we were gonna put wind onshore, it would use this much. Now, if you've ever met a British person, you'll know that we compare pretty much everything to the size of whales for some reason. This is whales here. I have no idea why, but let's do that because onshore wind would take, well, quite perfectly, about the size of whales. In fact, it would be a little bit more, about 1.2 whales to be precise. So that's quite a significant area as well. Now again, like solar power, it, this is not that there's nothing else going on there. You could farm in between it, of course, but let's have a look at offshore instead, because offshore is actually even bigger. So let's imagine we're in the ocean. Here is our offshore power. We've got one, two, three times the whales. And uh, this again, it's, it's not like nothing else is going on there. There is the ocean, but it's quite a surprisingly large amount of air that you would need for it. Well, there's nothing quite as surprising, however, as arguably the stupidest kind of energy ever invented, and that's something called biomass. Now, if you haven't heard of biomass or biofuels before, it is pretty much what it sounds. It's burning plants and quite often burning trees for energy. I told you it was dumb. Right. And it's incredibly inefficient in its land use, like, like insanely inefficient. This is how much land we would need if we were to power the entire UK's energy demand in 2050 off biofuels. So firstly, we would need the entire UK, and then we would need the entire UK again planted with biofuels. Oh, sorry, I wasn't finished. And again, and then half again. So yes, we would need three and a half times the size of the UK to power the UK's electricity demand. Now, it's clear that biofuels is something that we just need to give up on completely. This land should be better used for the other things we need land for, for farming and, as mentioned, for rewilding. But there's one other energy source that we've forgotten, and it's one that causes some controversy, causes some passion and causes some haters. It is nuclear energy. And nuclear energy looks something a bit like this. This tiny bit of land represented here is 48 kilometers square. That's to be precise, just 0.02% of the United Kingdom's total land mass. And that is the total area of the land you need for a handful of power stations, which could provide the entire UK's energy, entire UK's electricity in the year 2050. So let's put that on the map. And you can see here that it really is tiny. Now, all of these situations are hypothetical. No one is saying that we should power the United Kingdom off just one energy source. It's gonna be a mix of it. But what is abundantly clear from this is not only that we need to give up on the biofuels idea, but that if we can include nuclear energy in our energy mix, we can spare space for nature. We can spare all of the materials that we need to build things like the solar panels and the wind turbines. And when we do use those as renewables, like wind and solar, we can put them in the right places and we can use them sensibly and intelligently. So, Let's rewild our landscapes and let's get sensible about our energy mix. Mm -hmm.